Welcome back to Pepeo's tutorial series. I am Vikram and in this video, I will be talking about Motic 3 release. It's been a days or it's been a month Motic 3 release has been uh, in a buzz of this technology world where Motic 2 has various sub releases uh, for a while and now it's time, it's final, it's finally a time for Motic 3 release. Its expected date is uh, by the end of 2020, March 2020. Motic being an open source uh, marketing automation platform has provided lots of flexibility and customization for the customer's campaign or client's campaign uh, with different type of template creation, list upload of uh, list uploadation of emails and many more stuff. And it is uh, it has been uh, triggered that uh, it it has been figured out that in Motic three release uh, there might be much more performance enhancement. And uh, the update might have some of uh, some pro uh, technology versions upgradation and removing of unknown or uh, redundant uh, folders you may see. So according to the Motic release announcement article by their community manager Ruth Chesley, we can accept that uh, within an internal core structure of Motic might change uh, with this update and core versions might be updated. Moving towards the core structure, yes, PHP version and technology part, PHP version will be upgraded from 5.6 to 7.2.21 and a minimal, minimum SQL version required will be 5.7 uh, which, which will be upgraded from 5.5.3. If we look out for the framework, the Symfony framework and jQuery might uh, and the certain dependencies might be upgraded. From this article uh, or the release article, it has been seen that the changes will allow to incorporate the new features. It is also stated that even these changes to the code base not much affected to the user interface, but uh, for people using Motic for the long time might uh, change, few, few things might change. There was a message for uh, plugin developers also. If you are a plugin developer, uh, it's time to check the framework and the dependency check. You need to check whether your code or the plugin is working properly with Motic 3 or not, or if your plugin might need an upgrade. You can check various release nodes here, where they have, uh, they have listed down how you can maintain your Motic plugins, themes, and various integration related stuff and upgrade them accordingly to support in Motic 3. For ad administrators who are looking out for what all new things should be there in Motic 3 release. So uh, while creating an email template, you need to create the lead feed from, uh, from lead feed to contact feed. This is the first token that we need to replace. Second is uh, the PHP version. You need to upgrade your PHP version to 7.2.21. Third part is MySQL upgrade. Again, it should be 5.7. The console part is moved up now to a different directory. All the crowns are upgraded. Uh, the replacement of app console will be now bin console. Uh, the new file manager has been introduced in this case. The rack space and the OpenStack plugins for remote assets were removed due to their outdated libraries. Contribution, if you are an open source contributor or if you want to contribute to Motic, uh, it's been always a bigger, biggest driver in the development and testing of software. So Motic uh, accept all those releases, uh, all those contributions through PR on their GitHub repos. Uh, that's it for the Motic 3 release. Thank you.